In this update you can watch us harvest even more vegetables. In total we got more than 140 kilos out of the market garden so far. We also built a veggie washing station out of old bathtubs and a water collection in the last two weeks. In the month of July we need some more seedlings to reseed the beds and Wolfie built boxes for that. Our potatoes unfortunately got rot, so we had to emergency harvest. The rain has brought more moisture than the plants needed. Since we had different varieties in one bed, several types ended up in one harvest box, which Wolfi then had the task of separating again. But this way each potato could be examined again and the bad ones were sorted out. The excessive rain in the last few days has hindered the growth of many vegetables. However, it has caused the chart to thrive. Finally, the first lettuce heads could also be harvested. Additionally, this week's vegetable box includes zucchini, cucumber, pumpkin, green beans, potatoes and garlic. We found two old bathtubs on the land, which we planned to use for a veggie washing station. We thought it would be convenient to have the whole process from harvest to packing the boxes in the market garden. So our friends and us evened the ground to place the bathtubs and finally installed the water collection that we began to build four weeks ago with another bunch of cool people. We're not lacking water due to the heavy rain in the previous weeks and the container will be filled soon. As you've seen us building the wooden squares on our former videos, it's now time to reveal what they are good for. First I had to build some extra wooden braces, which you see me doing here in the video, and then we were able to build up our water tower. Thank you. 
In this we want to collect the rainwater from the hut in the market gardening. Unfortunately we had to remove the wooden rain gutters as there was no chance to get the height we needed to join up the water tower and the gutter. Wolfie built some planting boxes out of leftover large wood. Despite none of the onion beds have grown onions out of the many seeds we've spread, we're still not giving up and are now trying to make seedlings and transfer them to the beds once we're sure they survived. Ah, 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 ah,